With a constant state of confusion, AMD's RX 8000 has a shroud of mystery about its existence. Some say it's on the way and about to take over, while there are sources that strongly suggest the card is canceled and we should be looking forward to the RX 9000 instead. With such an unstable environment, what should we expect from AMD at this point? What should Nvidia do as a precaution, considering they haven't been the hot cake they were at one point? And where does this situation put us, the users? Let's sort it out. According to the likes of Digital Trend, AMD's RDNA 4 graphics cards, more commonly known as RX 8000 series, are already on their way. However, there haven't been a lot of reliable sources to confirm this. While AMD still prefers to be tight-lipped about their next-gen GPUs, there have been more than a bunch of leakers that tried to break up that silence with plenty of rumors and lore-accurate speculations. Most likely set to launch this year, the RDNA 4 GPU is rumored to give Nvidia a run for its money. However, with the RTX 50 series cards still yet to see the light of day, it's difficult to put a confirmed finger on who'll be the winner. Considering their track record, Nvidia is in a bit of a rough spot, especially after their RTX 40 series GPUs weren't exactly favorable with the community. Now, if the RX 8000 is indeed on the horizon, what kind of specs can we expect? Everything we know so far about the specs of RDNA 4 comes from various leaks that unfortunately overlap among various sources, so it's pretty difficult to have a solid idea. Among these leaks, most of the information is courtesy of Tom from Moore's Law, is dead on YouTube, who predicted that AMD will only release RDNA 4 in two configurations, Navi 48 and Navi 44. One of the things that most sources unanimously agree on and has been a topic of conversation for months is how AMD's next GPUs will not come with the specs needed to match Nvidia's high-end GPUs, mainly the RTX 5090. As always, AMD is aiming for the mid-range sector, which is further proven by the rumored specs for both chips. For an in-depth detail of what you can expect from the Nvidia RTX 50 series, click on the video above. According to Digital Trends, the Navi 48 will be found in an RX 8800 XT GPU and will be the flagship for this generation. They also estimate that this GPU has a 256-bit interface with GDDR6 memory clocked in at 20 gigabytes per second. There's also speculation that Moore's Law is dead, which pins this GPU to have a 256-bit interface and GDDR6 memory clocked at 20 gigabytes per second, while the Navi 44 is rumored to come with a 128-bit memory bus with a smaller die. A recent tweet from Kepler L2 and Tom's hardware indicated that AMD might not only stick to GDDR6 modules, but might also stifle the bandwidth and use 18 gigabytes per second modules instead. Case in point, the RX 7800 XT uses 19.5 gigabytes per second modules, which would make this a downgrade. However, these are only rumors, so it's okay to be skeptical. However, with the rumors regarding how AMD has cancelled the Radeon RX 8000 GPU lineup, things could get a bit more complicated. While AMD had very serious plans for the high-end Navi 4 design, according to videocards.com, they all came to a halt with the decision to cancel their most powerful variant. While of course all of these are meant to take with a grain of salt, we have solid confirmations that AMD has far-fetched plans for their next-gen GPU architecture and could potentially end up using some of these designs for the successor, the Navi 5. We can't wait to see how the situation unfolds, but while we wait for that, what are your thoughts and opinions on the current state of AMD? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And, as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.